when uh, injustice becomes law, resistance becomes duty. It is the duty of everyone to resist injustice. It is the duty of every Ghanaian to resist subversion of the will of Ghanaians. We have to do it. It is our right. But I want to take our mind back. You might not like that. You might not like me on that. But that's fine. I just wanted to cast our mind back. It is the first time that the Ghanaians' will have been subverted. That's why I want to cast our mind back. I want us to be each brother's keeper. We, we look like we Ghanaians, we only think about ourselves. For the fact that I am supporting the people who are on the street, demonstrating for their right to be respected. For the fact that I am I'm supporting or saluting my brothers and sisters who went to the Washington, Ghana Embassy at the Washington in the USA to demonstrate. To show that their votes should be counted. That does not mean that we should not think about our brothers too. There are some of our brothers who are also saying that, yeah, yeah, NPP has won. And I say, yeah, yeah, NDC has won. Yes, we are all Ghanaians. We should think of everywhere. We think about everybody. Casting our mind back, I said. And then the question I ask, is this the first time that the will of Ghanaians have been subverted? Is it the first time? And the answer is no. It has happened before. And we sit idle. We didn't do nothing about it. Today, we are facing the same thing. It happened before. I also mentioned be each, uh, be each other's keeper. I want to find out if we are truly being each other's keeper in this game, in this country called Ghana. In 1956, you might not want to hear that date, the people of Western Togoland went into plebiscite. They voted to join Ghana in union. These are people who are not part of the Gold Coast that became Ghana. But they went into plebiscite and voted to be part of Ghana in a form of a union. And that vote was subverted. That union was never created. The union was never given to them. That was done under Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, the first president of Ghana. It was done under his watch. When the people voted to be in union with Ghana, it doesn't matter the size of Western Togoland, what people are saying. It doesn't matter the size. What matters is that once upon a time, in 1956, the people went into plebiscite. They voted to be part of Ghana in form of a union, not integration. The people of Western Togoland did not vote to integrate themselves into Ghana, to integrate their land into Ghana. Today, you see what is happening. Just the will of the people was subverted. You see how we are flowing the street of Accra. How we are flowing the street of the big cities. How we are flowing the street of Washington. <laughs> you see, imagine where a whole state, a whole country called Western Togoland has been absorbed by Ghana. Why the people voted to be in union with Ghana and all of a sudden their land was absorbed. What would they do? What would they do? They, what would they do? What would they do? You see, we left the leprosy uncured. Instead, we perished. Uh, a hit to come more rashes. That is what is happening. That's why I ask if we are each other's keeper. This atrocity happened in the days of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. This injustice happened in the days of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Violation of human rights, purely in a broad daylight, happened in the days or in the life of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. The right of people of Western Togoland was subverted. Their right was denied. The right to their territory was denied. The right to their uh, freedom was denied. The right to the union was denied. But Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, when we came back, today, 
The people of Western Togoland have rose up. Actually, they started in the days of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, but many forces were raised against them. Anytime they, they come up, they find something to crush them, and then they go into hiding, so right into Ezra, and they don't come back. The, all this happened, you know, during um, Kuma time, they rose up, they won their state to be in union with Ghana. It, it goes on and on. Every regime, they come and go, come back and forth. A Champo time, the same thing. J.J. Rollins time, the same thing. It's happening everywhere. Kufuor time, the same thing. Atamel, the same. Bahama time, the same. Akufado time, the same. And now, in these days, President Akufado time in 2020, where the people of Western Togoland are asking for just their union that they voted for should be formalized. You see what Ghanaians did? All of us, we rose up and said, forget about them. Some people call themselves security experts. They go and sat on TV stations and just make, make things out of it. Telling government, crush them, do this to them, arrest them, imprison them. Some go on TV stations and say, at first, I was being lenient with them. Now, I don't want to be lenient. I want the government to deal with them ruthlessly. When the people were just asking that they are right, should be restored. Their right to their state should be restored. They are not breaking their state or taking their land away from Ghana. They say they are intertwined. They are interconnected with Ghana and they cannot break away from Ghana. But all that they want is that we should establish the union that their forefathers voted for so that we all have that equal respect. There will be an equal level of citizenship in Ghana. Because these people, if that union is not is not actually affected, it means they are halfway Ghanaians. Because they are not Ghanaians until they voted to be part of Ghana in 1956 in the form of a union. So if that union is not in effect, what makes these people Ghanaians? The people have lamented that they are being marginalized. They are being discriminated upon. They are being intimidated. They have seen many aggression, all because they feel that they are not Ghanaians. They see themselves as a second class citizens. They have raised many points. They have seen the injustice have been raised on them by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah from that time to today. And we are also doing the same thing to them. Me and you are still doing the same thing to them. And the people are saying that we should create a union so that they can also have their state be in union with Ghana. And we are saying no. We have our vice president, Dr. Baumia, be in a radio station saying that Western Tegula is a figment of imagination. <laughs> Seriously? Wow. Dr. Baumia, please come again. Today, Ghanaians have voted. Where is Dr. Baumia? Today, Ghanaian has voted. Where is Dr. Baumia to tell Ghanaians whether 2020 election is a figment of imagination? <laughs> I wonder where Baumia has been getting his figures and their stories from. I wonder. To say what in Togola is a figment of imagination, I'm sorry, it means you are not getting your facts right. As a vice president, you can't say something that is in existence. You cannot just say it's a figment of imagination. You can't just say that. Before you come out in public, you must check your record correctly. We all said this. We all have said things about these people. Today, where are those called themselves security experts? Do they saw the uh, 2020 election, the subversion of the will of the Ghanaian? Do they saw it coming? Why would they come and talk on this? What, 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 what are their intake on this issue? They are saying nothing about this one. They are quiet. You see, what is happening is just a replication of what happened in 1956. So let us not only think about ourselves. We should think also about our fellow brothers and sisters as well. We are not better than anybody on this earth. What is due to everybody must be given to the people. If Western Togolander says that they voted in 1956 to be in union with Ghana, fair enough. We should look into that, work it out, 
find a way to solve the issue amicably, establish the union so that we can live peacefully with these people. The Western Togolanders have complained many times, bitterly, that they are being re removed from offices just because of their name. They can, you can see recently um, uh, Mr. Dumelovo and all that. They were removed from office unjustly. When you say they say it's a political thing, I, mean, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Those of Western Togo who were heading the university, who were chancellors or you know, some of the universities that you were removed from office for no reasons, what about that one too? A lot of them. So today, the same thing. The will of Ghania have been subverted and we are, we are, we see, we want to bend the whole world. In the same thing, the will of Western Togoland was subverted in 1956. That will was subverted and we have never burned the whole world. Those people have never burned the world. But today, the same thing is happening to us. So we should go back and look into us and ask ourselves if we are be each brother's keeper. We should not leave that behind. Are we leaving that one behind? And only fighting today's election? Ladies and gentlemen, as a Ghanaian, I feel very bad for what is happening. That our people will go into election and vote, and the only thing we can do for them is to steal the mandate of the people. Is to make sure that the will of the Ghanaians is not actually uh, respected. It's not good. It's not right. It is never done in any civilized country. Ghana as a beacon of democracy, we cannot engage ourselves in this shameful act. Whatever the issue is, we need to solve it. And while solving it, we need to look back and solve our brothers' issue also. Our brothers from Western Togoland, we need to look into their issue. Their issue is a legitimate issue. It's a national issue. We should not try to wash them, put it under the carpet. And you can see that the issue of Western Togoland is not ending anywhere soon. It will keep coming and to be facing us. Why can't we do the right thing once and for all? Let us all live together peacefully. What are we scared of? What is our fear? If somebody is not part of our country, if somebody voted to be in union with our country, is it not okay for us to make that union work? Is Ghana itself not in union with African Union? Is Ghana not in, not in union with uh, uh, ECOWAS and other states? If that is it, why, why are we afraid to be in union with our own brothers and sisters who voted to join us? These people express love for, for our country. They express love for my country, Ghana. My beloved homeland, Ghana. These people express love for them. They say we love Ghana and we want to be part of Ghana in the form of a union. So they voted in 1956 so that the union will be effected. So that they can be in union with us. We can do things together. We can respect each other. We can... There are union countries here and there. But all of a sudden, we Ghanaians stole that verdict. We Ghanaians, we absorb their land. We should come face to face to that fact. We have read document and evidence that shows that the people were not part of our country. They were actually... Western Togolanders, and they voted to be in union with our country. But what do we give them? Nothing. We absorb their land. That is stealing. Just as today somebody is stealing your vote, it's the same thing that happened. Just that today somebody is stealing your will, it's the same thing that happened in 1956. Just because today somebody is stealing your wish, you wish that President Muhammad become your president. But somebody is telling you, I have the power. And I said, he will not be the president. And you say, no way. You have, you have no right to disrespect my right. You, you must respect the right of, of the uh, well, million Ghanaians that voted for President Muhammad to make him a Ghanaian. To make, I'm sorry, to make him a president. So we must also respect Western Togolanders who voted to be in union with Ghana. Please let us respect that. Let us tell our leaders. That we should always not be thinking about ourselves. When the issue affects us, we want the whole world to know of it. But when it's affecting our brothers, we say, let it go. That is nothing. No, put it under the carpet. Crush them. Crush them. Arrest them. Imprison them. No. 
We can't keep doing this. This will not move us forward. Well, I'll leave today's one here. I'll come your way next week. Give you another edition. Thank you. Bye-bye.